In this video, I'm gonna show you a really simple pressure that you can send at the opponent that is easy to set up and can actually uh, result in some really good B-gap anim animations uh, for your defense. What's good guys, my name is Cody, just wanna welcome you here to the YouTube channel. And if you're looking to get better at Madden, I would encourage you to hit that subscribe button down below. We do videos every single day designed to help people become better Madden players. Now in this video, we're taking a look at the Big Nickel over G. You can find this formation in the Kansas City Chiefs playbook. You can also find it in others, but I do think Kansas City is the best because it combines pretty much every really good formation this year into one, uh, into one playbook. Now the beauty of Big Nickel over G is its ability to send double edge pressure, to send A gap pressure, to send loop pressure we break down all of these things in our big nickel over g ebook if you're watching this and you haven't joined our patreon yet i would really encourage you to do so because our patreon members get access to all of our ebooks including the big nickel over g so if you want to check that out that'll be linked down in the description for just 10 bucks you'll get access to the ebook we're actually getting ready to do a little bit of an update to the ebook this week as well for you guys you get all the updates to those as well now what we're going to do with this is we're going to come out in the play WS Blitz and you can pick any of these three. You could do WS Blitz 3, WS Blitz 1, WS Blitz 2. Any of those plays you're going to see here that my coaching adjustments are pretty much all on default. You don't have to have anything really necessary to run this defense. And I really like to run um, WS Blitz 1 because main coverage is really good. And now we're going to send a five-man pass rush with really good edge protection uh, and a ability to use her over the middle. So we're going to use WS Blitz 1 for the example here. Now, again, if you want to get the entire defensive ebook, make sure you get the Patreon. But you see how the safeties kind of roll themselves into position for this blitz. So literally all we're going to do is we're going to bring this guy down. Now, what I like to do, because this guy's a safety, I like to play him in man coverage on the tight end. And then I'm going to use her, this guy kind of over the center just like this. And what you'll see is if you have a, have a fast dude right there, a lot of times he will come through the B gap. Now we will show you another way to run this in just a second in case you are having some inconsistencies with this blitz to be able to pick this up or to be able to make it a little bit more consistent for you. Uh, but basically what you're doing is you're running down to the center and you see we're getting this really nice either B gap or edge. And again, depending on the offensive line, depending on the hash mark, some of those things can make a big difference for this. But you'll see if you wanted to make this really easy on yourself, you could just use her, this guy right here. And again, you're just running down at the center and again, as you can see right there, uh, the pressure, even when it doesn't come in, is a really good shed defense. Now, if you wanted to make the pressure a little bit more consistent, all you simply need to do is crash your defensive line out, and then you're going to come down here in the same spot. And again, you're just trying to get the center's attention at the snap of the ball, so we get the center's attention, and as you can see, the pressure absolutely screams at the quarterback. Now, we have setups in the ebook that teach you how to get pressure against the running back blocking, how to get pressure against the tight end, but really the bottom line um, that I like about this as well is if they're trying to block their tight end, that does not always pick this up. In this example, it did pick it up, but it doesn't always pick up this pressure. Um, and then if they're trying to block their running back, I'll show you that as well here in just a second. Uh, what you'll see with the blocked running back in this is this does a little better job, but he'll get a quick shed a lot of times and he'll be able to come even quicker. So I really like this blitz, but there is a way to make it better. We're going to talk about that into uh, in our Big Nickel Over G ebook. So if you've not joined our Patreon yet, I really would encourage you to do that. But this is a really simple little five-man edge pressure that you can use to not only get pressure at, your, at the quarterback, but from this we can also manually press on the outside if we wanted to. And you can kind of have a lot of freedom to adjust your coverage because you're not putting a significant amount of time in the setup. Now, I'm going to show you one last little thing here in just a second, but you'll see here the blitz just being very consistent. Um, but the other thing that I want to show you is this. So let's say that we want to kind of really bring the pressure a little bit more. We're just going to blitz this linebacker on the left and if we're anticipating that they're blocking a running back. And a lot of times what will happen is this running back will basically suck to the middle of the field and you're going to be able to loop around the edge just like that right there. So so if you're anticipating that they're blocking a running back, and I think even if they're blocking a tight end, I'm pretty sure that this still comes in, you'll see that this is just a way to kind of hedge your bet. Now, if the running back does go out, you need to get over here. But as you can see, we're still able to kind of get pressure um, based on the blocking scheme that they employ. And now what they're going to have to do is they're basically going to have to play a max protect uh, to pick this up. And we're only, you know, we're only sending six 
uh, with this and you'll see right here sometimes it'll come right through the a gap even when they max protect so this is just a really easy blitz to adjust out of that's why i wanted to show it here on the youtube channel and if you want to check out the whole defense the whole defense in my opinion has the best blitzing concepts in the game and it's all in this formation and it also creates the best coverage options that you can have in the best shed defenses it's all in one and it's got a great run defense by the way too so this is just in my opinion the most balanced defense in the game and if you want to learn how to run it at a high level i would really encourage you to join our patreon it's only ten dollars to sign up and like i said it'll get you access to everything it'll get you access to all of our offensive stuff as well uh, so guys i would really encourage you to join the patreon if you want to sign up head down to the description below click the link down below and we'll see you guys over at the patreon page